perfect. Okay. Awesome. So we've got 45 minutes of um, some gentle yoga. So thank you for joining. My name is Megan. Um, if you have any props that you would like to grab, maybe a yoga strap or any pillows, go ahead and grab those. And we will start in a comfortable seated position. You're welcome to sit either cross-legged or sometimes it can feel nice to um, sit your hips back on um, your heels. So whatever feels comfortable and good for you, go ahead and land there and allow yourself to relax through the breath, through your body, your muscles. And we'll begin the practice just by dialing into our breath. So whatever position you have decided to take, focus on the spine lengthening up towards the ceiling. So the sternum is lifting and your shoulders are rolling down and away from the ears and melting down your back. And if you'd like, you can gently close your eyes. And use this as a time to soften. So relaxing through the muscles of your face, your jaw. And we'll take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And then a long, slow exhale out through the mouth. And a few more times just like that, taking a large breath in through your nose, nice and slow. And then just parting your lips slightly and taking a longer exhale out through your mouth. And how about one more time with that nice breath, full deep breath in, feel the lungs fill up. And then cleansing long exhale out through the mouth. And allowing yourself to move with your breath um, through the practice. And knowing that you can always come back to the breath. So if any pose is feeling challenging or overwhelming, the breath is always just an amazing tool that you can access at any point. Gently blink your eyes open. And we'll come into some nice stretches here just to warm up the spine. So let's take a nice big deep breath in, reach your arms up nice and high towards the ceiling. Maybe you gaze up, reach through your fingertips, interlace your fingertips, and on an exhale, press your palms up towards the ceiling. And so your biceps are maybe right by the ears if that feels okay. And maybe you just kind of take the arms over to the right for a little stretch. Back up through center and explore to the left. And your gaze can either be at the floor or maybe just straight ahead, whatever feels okay for the neck, and then back over to the right. Up through center and back over towards the left. Okay, back to center, big inhale. And as you exhale, rounding your spine, start to press your palms forward and tuck your chin. So as you engage through your arms, continue pressing the palms forward and feel the shoulder blades pulling away from one another. And then as you inhale, let the arms and your palms press up towards the ceiling, a nice breath in. And exhale, round in the spine again, press the palms forward. Squeeze your belly button towards your spine. And again, inhale, lengthen and press up. And exhale, let it go round in your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, palms press up. Maybe gaze up and as you exhale, start to bend your elbows and let the hands just come to the neck or the base of your skull. And you can either stay right here or come into an active stretch where you start to reach your elbows to the space behind you so the front of the chest begins to open up. And again, either looking straight ahead or maybe lifting your chin up towards the ceiling as you gaze up. Nice big breath in. As you exhale, return to center and drop your hands down to the mat. Awesome. Leave your right hand on the floor and a big inhale, left arm reaching up towards the ceiling. So lengthen through the 
top of the hip, the side body, all the way through the left fingertips. Nice breath in. And exhale as you reach over towards your right. Finding a comfortable gaze for you. Another breath in. And exhale back up through center, however you'd like to get there. And we'll go to the other side. So the in-breath, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Lengthen out, breath in. And exhale out, let it go. Reaching over towards the left. And on your next exhale, float back through center. We'll go to the other side, and you've got the option to drop your right forearm and elbow down towards the ground for a deeper stretch. So use your breath in to lengthen. And your exhale to continue reaching over towards your right. And if it's in your practice, drop your forearm, the right forearm down to the ground. Keep spreading the right fingertips nice and wide. And on your next exhale, come back through center and go right over to the other side. Nice breath in, reaching the right arm towards the ceiling. And exhale, reach over towards the left. Staying here, dropping the left forearm down to the ground. Spread through your right fingertips to engage through the arm and feel that stretch through the right side body and ribs. And exhale, let it go, come back towards center. Sitting up nice and tall, let's reach for um, the right, your right leg. So grabbing for the bottom of your right foot and your right knee. We'll do this to warm up the hips and get a little bit of an opening through the glute muscle. So either rocking from side to side, or if you'd like to just remain still and kind of hug the shin in towards your chest, you can do that. And another option here is wrapping the shin around your arms and either grabbing um, hands or interlacing your fingertips. And again, focusing on letting your sternum lift up, working on the spine, staying nice and straight, lengthening up towards the ceiling. Gonna kick our left foot out, so maybe drop this right hand down behind you just for some support and extend your left leg. On the in-breath, squeeze that right leg in. And on the exhale, drop your right foot to the floor. We'll come into a spinal twist. Okay, so we'll inhale, um, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, look over towards your right. Maybe hooking your left elbow to the right knee. So using the right fingertips and hands on, on the floor for support. Keeping your chest lifted, gazing over your right shoulder. Getting some nice rotation through your spine. Let's stay for one more breath. So big inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it go. Come back through center and just keep floating over to the other side. So just hooking maybe the right either elbow or arm to that right knee and just glancing over the left shoulder. And returning to center, coming into your seated tree pose. Um, either letting your right foot kind of land in your hip crease um, of the left side or dropping it to the floor so it is touching the left thigh. So take a big breath and reach your arms up. And then use the exhale to fold. Reach for your left foot. So to feel a deeper stretch, flex your left toes towards your face to feel the back of the left leg lengthening out. Softening and folding a bit deeper over your left thigh on the exhale. And then at your pace, bringing yourself back up to that seated position. So the chest is lifting, roll the shoulders down your back. 
and we'll go to the other side. So bend your left knee, reach for the foot and the knee, or interlacing the shin through um, your hands and interlacing your fingers. And as you move through your yoga practice, just kind of working on becoming um, aware and just noticing how things are feeling, how the body's feeling, how the energy's feeling. Let's stay for another breath. And then kick out that right leg. So right leg on the floor, nice and long. And then nice breath in, maybe squeeze your left shin in, keep lifting in your sternum. And on the exhale, guide this left foot down to the floor over your right leg. So left foot is on the floor. Big inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, start to twist here. So the right elbow hooking at the left knee, the left fingertips are on the floor. Spine is lengthening up towards the ceiling. And you can kind of gently press into your um, left knee with the right elbow and see if I can give you a bit more of a twist and use the breath out to um, go with that twist. Another inhale. And then exhale back through center and just creeping your way over to the other side. So just a gentle twist over towards the right. And then back through center, coming into our tree pose. So either letting the ankle or foot come to the right hip crease, trying it that way, or dropping the left leg down to the floor. And inhale to lengthen, reach through the fingertips, and then work on kind of keeping a flat back and letting the heart lead the way as you fold over the right thigh. Reaching for the toes. For a deeper stretch, flexing your right toes towards the face, and if your hands are um, at the right foot, you can kind of pull the toe and ball of the right foot towards the face and feeling um, a stretch through the right calf. Letting the back of your neck stay nice and long as you fold over the right thigh. And then lifting back up to a comfortable seated position. And bend your right knee and we'll come into a cross-legged position. And from here, roll the shoulders down the back and then take your right ear to your right shoulder. And so for this stretch, maybe feeling it on the, the left side of your neck, so your scalenes and maybe some upper trapezius muscle and to feel a different stretch, just start to tuck your chin a little bit. Notice if the shoulders start hunching up, see if you can kind of let those melt. And then press back up and we'll go to the other side. So left ear, left shoulder. And then tucking the chin just a little bit. And then back up through center. Tuck your chin to your chest. And lifting back up. Gently place uh, your hands behind you. We're gonna bend the knees and put your feet on the floor. We're gonna let uh, your legs kind of fall into a windshield wiper motion here. So you can keep going back and forth, or if you'd like to kind of stay to one side for a nice stretch through the 
um, quadricep muscles you can. You can even start to bend your elbows and drop down to your forearms if that's an okay feeling on your knees and your hips. And then when you feel satisfied, maybe press back up onto your hands and let the legs fall over to the other side. Situate yourself and then dropping down to the forearms on this side. And so see how it feels. Um, you can always use pillows under your knees and adjust your feet um, so that everything kind of feels as best as it can. All right, you're feeling good on that side. Let's lift our way back up. And let's shift right into a child's pose. So coming onto all fours, bringing some space between your knees. And flip onto the tops of your feet here and start to settle your hips down towards your heels. And reaching your arms out straight ahead, spreading your fingertips nice and wide and letting your forehead rest down. So it's either resting on the mat or maybe a pillow or a block. And then focusing in on the breath and seeing if you can soften through any tension that you might be feeling. Lengthening through the spine and on an exhale, softening through the belly and letting the hips sink down towards your heels. Spreading the fingertips nice and wide. Start to press into the hands, lift your hips up. Walk the knees in so that tips with distance apart. And we're going to take our right arm, slide it right underneath our left palm face up. We're gonna drop down to your right shoulder in the side of um, your head. So adjust yourself so that the left arm, I like kind of just reaching it forward here so I'm gazing underneath my left tricep and my right palm is face up towards the ceiling. <sighs> and from here, start pressing into that left hand. Walk your left hand so that's underneath um, your left shoulder, bring the right arm back and we're going to kind of come into a counter stretch. So bringing the right arm up and reaching it towards the ceiling. So we're in a tabletop position and we're reaching the right arm up. And on the exhale, lower that hand down. And we'll go to the other side. So sliding the left hand underneath the um, right arm and right shoulder or the armpit and drop down to your left shoulder. The left hand is palm face up towards the ceiling and adjust your right hand so that feels okay. So maybe lengthening the arm out, dropping down to the side of the head. And from here, we'll come into that same counter stretch. So if you'd like to adjust your right hand so that it's right underneath your right shoulder pressing up, we're going to take our left hand out from underneath our um, right arm and keep lifting up. So now we're twisting your left hand and arm up towards the ceiling. Awesome, as you exhale, drop it back down to a neutral tabletop position. Spread your fingertips nice and wide, the index finger is at 12 o'clock and your knees and hands are about hips width distance and just gently start to rock from side to side 
any nice little motion that might feel good. Circles with the hips, stay soft through the elbows. <sighs> and then neutral tabletop position. So you're pressing the earth away from you, engaging your core even in your tabletop. We'll flow into some cat cows here. So on the inhale, drop the tummy, curve in the spine, and bringing the gaze kind of up to the ceiling or just bringing your gaze up so that it's comfortable for your neck. And then on the exhale, press into the hands, engage through the arms, round in your spine and tuck your chin. So maybe either gazing at your belly button or between the knees. And then an inhale, dropping into cow pose. So we're kind of opening up through the heart and we're dropping into our shoulders a bit here as we curve in the spine. And exhale. Stretch around in your spine, press through your hands, and tuck your chin. Drop your head. And how about two more cycles of that? So inhale, cow pose. And exhale to your cat. And one more time here. Using your inhale, drop the belly button, curve in your spine. And exhale to your cat pose. Round in your spine, hug your belly button towards your spine, press the mat away from you, engage through your arms, and then bring it back to a neutral tabletop. From here, we'll start to slide your right leg forward. And bring your right foot between your two hands. And if you'd like, tuck your back toes here. And your right foot should be facing directly forward with your right ankle right underneath your right knee. And if it feels all right, bring both hands to the top of your right knee. So your spine is lengthening up towards the ceiling, relax through your shoulders. Notice the grip in the toes on the right foot. So having kind of just a gentle grip here, grounding down through the right heel. Option to stay here or reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Palms face one another, you've got the biceps hugging in towards your ears. And see if you can focus on what's in contact with the mat. So whatever's in contact with the mat, we're grounding down through that. The, the low abs are engaged, we're hugging energy up and in. Welcome to either stay here or bring your hands to heart center. Relax the shoulders, and if you'd like, come into a twist um, to the right. So working your left elbow to the right knee. Make sure your right knee stays right over that right ankle. You can kind of press your left elbow into the right knee to get a bit more of a twist. Palms pressing together. Squeeze your belly button towards your spine. And on your next exhale, stay here, but drop your left hand down to the floor and reach your right arm up. So we'll come into that twist that we typically start with. So reaching your right hand towards the ceiling, lengthening through the right fingertips. Awesome, and on the exhale, drop your right hand down on the outside of the right foot and take the twist to the other side. Awesome, big exhale, let that go. Come into your runner stretch, shift your hips towards the back of your mat and flex your right toes towards your face. This is kind of similar to the seated tree we took at the beginning. So for a deeper stretch, flex the right toes towards the face and for an even deeper stretch, start folding deeper over your right thigh. And then the progression for this pose would be dropping down to a full split or working on straightening your back leg. And begin to bend your right knee, bring your right foot to the mat and take your right hand, bring it on the inside of the right foot and walk your right foot out towards the right. Keeping that, um, your right knee over your right ankle. 
Dropping into deepest lunge here. So either staying on your hands and see what feels good. So for me, I just kind of shifted my left knee back a bit to get a bit of a deeper stretch. So you can do that. You can drop down to your forearms, drop your forearms down onto a block. And for deepest lunge, the focus here is hugging your, your right knee into your right shoulder. If you're holding any tension through the head and neck, go ahead and release that while you're in this pose. And start to press yourself back up. We're going to creep this right foot back to the center of the, the mat and bring your um, right hand to the outside of it. And we'll shift into a pyramid pose. So for pyramid pose, tuck your back foot under. We're going to step this left foot up and out. Maybe shift your right foot over towards the right edge of the mat. We're working on folding over um, the right thigh. So really grounding down through both feet. Working on straight legs, if that doesn't feel good, bring a soft bend to your knees. Squeeze the belly button towards your spine and work on folding over the right thigh. Drop your head and neck. If you're feeling off balance, bring some distance between um, the feet. So like the feet are on train tracks. And from here, let's step forward to a forward fold. So bring your left foot up parallel with your right foot. Soften through your knees and fold forward. Hands can either wrap around the backs of your knees or maybe grab opposite elbows. Really bend the knees here so almost that uh, your ribs and your tummy can rest on the tops of your thighs. And for a deeper stretch in the forward fold, press through your feet and work on straightening um, through the knees if you want a deeper stretch through your hamstrings. Next exhale, drop your hands to the ground. We're going to come back to our tabletop. So walk the feet back and drop the knees down. Any little motions that feel nice here before we take it to the other side. So starting with a nice, firm and supportive foundation. Again, checking in with the knees and hands so that their hips with distance apart. Bring your left foot forward between um, the two hands here. Left toes are facing directly forward with your ankle right underneath the knee. Option to stay here or bring both your hands to the top of the left knee. Again, focusing on that firm foundation, so really grounding down through this left foot and the right knee. If it feels okay, reaching both hands up towards the ceiling. Notice if the shoulders start to hike up towards the ears, see if you can um, relax the shoulders while you're still lengthening through the fingertips. So we're working on staying pretty light in the upper body. Palms are facing one another. And you can stay like this or bring hands to heart center. Engage the energy here. So hug belly button towards spine, take a nice breath in. And on the exhale, start to lean forward and we'll come into that twist. So bringing your right elbow to the left knee. See if you can press into the hands here and get a bit of a deeper twist through the ribs if that's feeling good for you. Focusing on a nice steady gaze point in front of you. Your gaze can be straight ahead or maybe down on the floor. 
We'll work our way into the twist. So staying like this, drop your right hand to the floor and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. <sighs> and then float your way to the other side. So on the exhale, dropping your left hand down. Big inhale, twist and reach your right arm up. And then letting go on the exhale, both hands down to the mat. Shifting into your runner stretch, straightening through your front leg, bending your right knee. And flexing your left toes towards your face. And start to creep your way into your deepest lunge. So bring your left foot down to the floor. Put a bend back through that left knee. Walk your left foot out towards the edge of the mat. Keep your left toes facing directly forward though and see if you can keep the left knee stacked right over um, the left ankle. And then adjust yourself here. So with the right knee, if you'd like to shift it back some, and either staying here or finding a way into your expression of deepest lunge, maybe dropping down to your forearms. Grounding down through your left foot, squeezing your left knee into your left shoulder. And then pressing back up to your hands, tucking through your back foot, start creeping your left foot back to the center of the mat. So you've got a hand on either side of the left foot. We're gonna lift our hips up, shift into our pyramid pose. So I like taking a big step forward with my right foot. My right toes are angled up at the top right hand corner of my mat. Working on straightening through both my legs, folding over your left thigh. Any sort of pain, if you're feeling any, bring a soft bend through the knees. And then finding your way to your forward fold. So bring your right foot up to the front of your mat. The feet are about hips width distance apart. Soften through your knees and fold forward. We'll make our way through some half sun salutations and self sun salutation A. So release your hands, let them come to the mat. And we're going to inhale, come to a halfway lift. Let your hands come towards your shins. Back and spine is flat, back of the neck is nice and long, and we're just gazing at the front edge of the mat. Heart's pulling forward, big breath in. And exhale, fold forward. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lift halfway, press to your feet. Pull your heart forward. Exhale, let it go. So for more of a challenge in your balance, you can bring your feet together so you've got your big toes touching in about an inch between your heels. So that can be more of a challenge if you'd like to try that. Inhale, lift halfway. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale and fold. Rise all the way up, press through your feet. Stay soft through your elbows and move slowly. Awesome, igniting through the legs, big inhale as you reach your arms up towards the ceiling. 
And palms come, come together, exhale, and pull your hands to the center of your heart. Roll the shoulders down the back, gaze straight ahead. Press through your feet, inhale, reach your arms up, spread through the fingertips, and maybe bring your gaze up towards the ceiling as you press your hands forward. So this will take you into a little bit of a back bend. Start to soften through your knees, exhale as you fold forward. Inhale to lift halfway. And big exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise all the way up. So the kneecaps and quads, they pull up and the arms swoop up towards the ceiling. We'll bring the hands together and pull towards heart center. Stay here for one breath, inhale. Exhale out. And again, inhale, reaching your arms up. Opportunity for a baby back bend. Exhale and fold forward, soften through your knees. Let the heart lead the way as you fold. Lovely, inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Press through the feet, inhale and rise up. Reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, palms together and pull towards heart center. So now we'll invite in some more poses as we shift to Sun Salutation A. Okay, inhale, reaching your arms up towards the ceiling. And big exhale, fold forward. Inhale to your halfway lift, chest and heart pulls forward, shoulders pull away from the ears. Exhale, drop the hands down, step back to a high plank. High plank is kind of similar to tabletop in that fingertips are spread nice and wide, wrists are right underneath your shoulders, and we're pressing the mat away from us. You can always drop your knees here for support, back of the neck nice and long. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Engaging through the core and squeezing the elbows in towards your ribs, lowering down, flip onto the tops of your feet. Inhale to a cobra pose or upward facing dog. Elbows are still squeezing in, and if you're choosing upward facing dog, straightening through the arms. And exhale, let it go. Tuck your toes and shift back to your down dog. Always got the option to float through a tabletop for a second. And then tucking the toes under, really lifting the hips up. Keep a soft bend through your knees, pressing through your fingertips. Downward facing dog. Really engaging through the arms. Relax your head and neck. So this down dog is feeling a bit tight, be gentle with yourself. So a nice bend through the knees, let the heels peel away from the mat, soften through the elbows. Nice full breath in. And exhale, let it go. Start walking your feet up towards your hands and we will go through that again. Sun salutation A. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, press through your feet, roll on up. And we'll just keep on moving here through Sun Salutation A. So on this exhale, fold it forward, bend through your knees. Inhale to your halfway lift. And on the exhale, come into your high plank. So placing your hands down, stepping the feet back. Big breath in. And on the exhale, lowering all the way down. Keep the core engaged. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Flip onto the tops of your feet. If you're coming into upward facing dog, kind of glide your hips forward. Feel the chest opening up. And then on the exhale, tuck the toes under and start to shift the hips back and up. Downward facing dog, press in through your finger pads, really spread the fingertips nice and wide. And a full breath here. And big exhale out. We'll do our sun salutation A one more time. So take an inhale. Exhale, let it go. And at your pace, bring your feet up to meet your hands. Feet are either hips width distance apart or you've got the big toes touching with a little space between the heels. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, let it go, fold forward. Inhale, press through the feet, rise all the way up. Arms reach up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to your high plank. Awesome, use the breath. Exhale, lowering down, squeeze those elbows in towards your ribs. And then inhale, slow into upward facing dog or cobra pose. Got a nice opening through the heart. Exhaling back through maybe a tabletop, finding your way to downward facing dog. <sighs> nice work. Another breath. <sighs> Exhale, let's walk our feet up towards our hands. Come into a forward fold. So from here, separate the feet, hips with distance apart. <sighs> let's find our way into a chair pose just for a moment. So uh, the feet are <clears throat> parallel and at 12 o'clock. We're going to bend our knees and drop the hips. So we want to work on, um, make sure you can see all 10 of your toes. Nice bend through the knees. Engage the, the low abs here. See if we can relax through the shoulders. Your arms can either be um, biceps by the ears, or if that doesn't feel okay, hands can stay right at heart center. And so some challenges we can take here is continue, see if we can drop the hips a bit lower. See if you can keep your gaze up. Not like up towards the ceiling, but just straight ahead. So that will kind of keep the shoulders open and maybe feeling a little bit of a burn through the thighs. We'll stay for three, two, and one. Press through the feet, straighten the legs, stand up. Big inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Walk your feet towards the edges of the mat. We'll drop into a quick um, squat. Feet are at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Watch the knees here so you find them kind of caving in. Um, maybe lift a bit up through the hips. You can always sit on a yoga block here. You can either keep that still or bring some movement to the pose. <sighs> Okay, maybe walking your hands back behind you, we'll find our way um, down towards the ground. So extend the legs out nice and long. We'll come into a seated forward fold. For an active stretch, flex the, your feet towards your face to get a nice stretch for the hamstrings and calf. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach for the feet. And gently lifting back up. Let's lower all the way down to our backs. We'll come into pigeon pose. So we'll cross the right ankle over the left knee. And you've got the option to stay just like this, or if you'd like um, a deeper stretch, start hugging your left leg in closer towards the chest for our pigeon pose. So your fingers are interlacing at the left hamstring, squeezing the left leg in closer towards you. And then from here, dropping down and switching your sides. For some variations here, you could extend your right leg towards the ceiling. You could also interlace your fingertips on the right shin instead of, um, the, instead of the right hamstring. So that will 
maybe give you a different sort of stretch or a deeper stretch. And then when you're done with that side, so gently find your way out of that, extend your legs nice and long. We'll come into our final resting pose. So maybe bringing the ankles to the corners of your mat and then letting your hands fall wherever comfortable will really soften. So begin to close the eyes. Let the ankle sort of roll open here. The shoulders are melted down to the ground and any grip on your fingers is gentle. Begin to bring some gentle movement back into your body. <sighs> Squeezing the knees <clears throat> in towards your chest. And then we'll rock our way up to a comfortable seated position. <clears throat> and find your way. Maybe in that cross-legged position, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders nice and relaxed. Full breath in. Go ahead and reach your arms up nice and high towards the ceiling. Palms together to touch as you exhale. Bring your hands to heart center. Relax the shoulders. Big inhale through the nose, nice and long. Slow exhale out through the mouth. Thank you for joining. Thank you for practicing. Namaste. Um, I will be teaching every Monday till the end of April at six o'clock. So thank you for joining.